so annoying, isn't it? I hate having flicker. It's really hard to solve in post, so it's worth spending some extra time checking your equipment before you start shooting. I do so making a time lapse of 20 pictures every time I use new equipment. To be sure, I'm flicker free. Here you are a list of common flicker sources. A common one and easy to solve is having natural light contaminating your set. Natural light is unstable, so you must close all your blinds and get rid of any light coming in. There are no blinds here, so I'm forced to animate only at night, so I'm doing all this stuff at night. We are used to work with low budget lights in stop motion. Some could cause flicker. So whatever light you use, make sure to test it. And if it gives you flicker, replace it. A proper test involves selecting the right shutter speed. A lower shutter speed makes invisible most of these light fluctuations. So 1 30th or 1 50th of a second is a good shutter speed to check this type of flicker. Related to the animator, and depending on the light setup, it's important to be aware not to project shadows to your puppet, especially if you have light behind you. Or to bounce light from your t-shirt or body, especially if you wear white. That's why animators usually wear black. Computer screens do spill light, especially when near to the set, so make sure to enable the screen blackout on Dragon Frame. This will turn your screen to black every time you shoot a frame. The most complicated issue to solve is the line voltage fluctuations. If your electricity is unstable or fluctuates due to poor construction, or maybe because your neighbors are doing the laundry, it may affect your lighting, especially with incandescent lights. More volts coming, brighter the bulb. There are devices that try to reduce these fluctuations, but I wasn't successful in the past trying those. So finally I decided to move to LEDs, and I found that because of the low consumption and the transformers that they need, they are really stable in any circumstance. If you have the camera settings to auto, and because you are moving all the time around the camera, it can be changing during your animation, and you don't want that. All should be set to manual, shutter speed, aperture and ISO. But also, and that's something people forget, the white balance. If you forget that one, the colors will change during your animation. Finally, the aperture flicker. That's the reason why we love so much the manual lenses. Those ones doesn't make flicker, because the aperture mechanism is fixed to a setting. This problem is really common, so next video will be all about this and two ways to fix it. Those are the main reasons to have flicker in your animations. So if you are having flicker, make sure to check one by one all the reasons that I have exposed and fix the source. Solving the issue in post-production it's a real nightmare, so my recommendation would be to get it right in camera and avoid having to work a lot after your animation is done. Sometimes could be more than one thing at the same time that it's causing that flicker. So what I normally do is first start checking the things that I know for sure that works. For example, I would start with a camera and one source of light that works fine and add things one by one to get the problem. So first one light, then two lights, three lights, etc. Or if you think that it could be the, the lens, check first the camera with a right lens and then move to other lens. 
I hope all this information could help somebody with the issue of the flicker and I'm sure that the next video about the aperture flicker will help a lot more because aperture flicker is in almost every lens today because all them are with automatic aperture and all them have a little bit of flicker so subscribe and be here for the next video because I'm sure you will like a lot. Take care!